Hello, I'm Alec Alexopoulos from uh, ErgoSense Pro. Uh, our mission is to change the way athletes train in the 21st century. Uh, I am actually a chemical engineer from the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki, PhD Purdue postdoc MIT. For the last 20 years I've been working in chemical and biomedical engineering at CERTH in Thessaloniki. But my hobby, my passion really, has been weightlifting and powerlifting uh, for over 25 years. And the questions that I was always asked as a scientist, they would ask me, what are the best ways to train for strength and power? So I searched all the literature, all sports science concerning training methodology, and it was clear that there's a state of confusion, and I'm being kind. There's a lack of scientific theory, in fact. So what I realized eventually is that what was missing was engineering principles, and that's what I applied to the problem, and I came up with this theory, which is the heart and soul of the ergo system. So what the real problem here is that strength and conditioning training programs lack the science. They are therefore problematic, uh, subjective, and definitely non-optimal. Players don't reach their true potential. Coaches and teams win less. As it's been mentioned, the market is huge. Soccer is the king at 20 billion, and the four major leagues in the U.S. Is around, are around 30 billion. If we do the, some calculations, we can figure out that the final obtainable market for these five leagues for uh, training software is 40 to 100 million. So what do we do specifically? We are the first ever system to develop strength and conditioning training programs in a scientific and objective manner that are personalized and optimal for every athlete and optimal for the entire team as well. Compared to current training pro programs, it's like a Formula One for a Ferrari to a Model T Ford. So this is a cartoon about what exactly we do. We start with a very thorough evaluation of athletes, They're completely different than what's being done today. We use ergometric centers, uh, typically at facilities in professional sports teams. Next, we take a traditional one-size-fits-all training program that is used today, and this is something that the coach would develop. We take the evaluation metrics from the athletes, and using our analytic tools, we, de we determine these training performance metrics for the athletes. And you can see that they, they are different for all athletes, and there's a, a richness of inf information here. We can identify the top-performing athlete. We can identify the lagging athletes. We can uh, look at specific performance metrics. We can actually use this as a predictive tool, how the athletes are going to respond to a training program. But there's more. We can take this... And then we can identify athletes, depending on their role in the team and their condition, we can modify their training program so that they, have, they, have, they maximize specific metrics that are important for their role in the team. In this way, we have personalized and optimal training programs for the athletes. Then we, the, in, during the implementation, we train the, the, log, the, we log the training sessions and we reevaluate uh, athletes and the training system itself. Overall, we have... Ten evaluation metrics instead of what is typically used, one. Seven training parameters instead of what is typically used, three. Twelve training performance metrics instead of two. And we predict 50 to 300 percent improvement of athletes during the, the training period. Compared to other software, uh, the, the large circle, which is the market size of smartwatches and bracelets, they provide no benefit to athletes, actually. Um, the direct training programs, just for just the software for, for teams, have zero optimality and very little uh, personalization. And then the, the best, let's say, software available today is uh, those in wearables. Either they add velocity or they try to measure fatigue, um, and both have, are very problematic. In the end, they have only three metrics. We have 12. So our marketing stra strategy is direct sales based on product differentiation and customization ability. And we will target mostly uh, college and professional football teams in the U.S. initially. Okay. Uh, there's also a larger market of amateurs, which we can access through wearables, and there's also applications in health and uh, medical area. We, were, we are very new. Uh, we are currently working on validation tests, including uh, test user coaches in the U.S., and we expect to move to the U.S. early in 2017 and uh, go to market. And Hopefully we will do well. The team is myself, uh, Debbie in, uh, in the U.S., George, developer in, in Greece, Thanos in Germany, Michael um, is in the U.S. too. We are also looking to expand the team and help, uh, help realize our, our dream of making Ergo the paradigm for strength training in the 21st century. 
help us and launch in 2017. Thank you.